I will ever drive into Canada again. Hi, we're going to Canada. I'm gonna cross right over the border. I've never driven across the border before, so I thought I'd take you guys along with me. I'm driving in my Jeep. I cleaned everything out. Everything's all nice and clean. Got my Jurassic decals and everything. So if I get into any accidents, it'll be really embarrassing because I'll be like, it was the Jurassic girl. The traffic I hear is very bad in Toronto. I um, finished making my wine, by the way. I siphoned it out and put it in the, the new container and now it just needs to sit. And it's tasting real good. I'm gonna put a bunch of cardamom in a little bit later. So it's cardamom pineapple wine. And it's a really unique taste. Gotta stock up on gas before we get into Canada. I don't know if there's any different road rules or anything for Canada. Um, I know that I need to bring my passport and I knew, know they do like a border check. But I'm gonna take you guys along with me and just show you the process. I don't, I hear it's pretty easy. So. <sighs> I, it's been a while since I've driven. It's gonna be a long drive. And it's weird. Every time I go back on the road, I'm just nervous. I'm, I've been on the road for like an hour. We're going to, I think we're going to kind of go through Niagara Falls and I've never been there. Uh, I don't really want to stop. We're headed into New York, that uh, water thing happening again underneath you, Cuba. I'm just gonna ignore it like everyone said to. Everyone's like, you're crazy. Oh, ouch. Montreal. What was the part? When did you go there? It was like three or four years ago. Other than your clothing, what else do you have coming with you into the country? Um, just some cameras. Any alcohol or tobacco with you? Any firearms or weapons? Any cash currency equal to or greater than ten thousand dollars Canadian? What kind of things are you going to do? Did you have your plan if you want to see? Oh, I want to get a tattoo. You have an appointment for the tattoo already. When's your appointment? Tomorrow.
Okay, so that's how you cross the border. I do it so you know. <laughs> I, I don't know what the speed limit is. It's a hundred kilometers per hour, but I don't, I don't know what that means. I'm guessing it's like 70 to 80. Oh, I'm so hot. I'm so hot. I feel a little bit of vomit. And I figured out though that I never realized before because I had no need of it. There's the kilometers per mile underneath the miles per hour. So long. I just made it to my Airbnb, so let's check this out together. It's so nice and cool in here. This is really nice. I mean, it's a basement. Look, it's so cute and affordable. Cool. This is nice and big. I wanted to get an Airbnb because I knew it was going to be hot and humid. And after I get a tattoo, I'm not going to want to sleep in a really humid hot car. It's just not sanitary. So I got an Airbnb for two nights and then I'm going to drive back. That drive was brutal. You guys were not joking about Toronto traffic. It's I might just Uber to my tattoo appointment tomorrow because driving in that with no AC, having to turn the heat on sometimes. morning no matter what way i try to swing this getting into this into the middle of toronto is going to be expensive um if i take an uber there it's like 50 bucks or 40 dollars i can't drive i can't i can't drive yuki in toronto i'm not good at street parking i haven't street parked for i don't know the last time i street parked so i'm gonna bite the bullet and get an uber into toronto and it's also gonna take an hour. I mean, really, I'm only 13 miles away from where I'm supposed to be, but like I said, because of traffic, I've been out of the city life for a while now, and like my experiences in the cities, like in Denver and stuff, I just, it just brings so much anxiety, and not that I'm opposed to living in cities, but when you have a vehicle, American big cities, to me, they're just so stressful. This isn't a nature visit, and I wish that it was, and I'm sorry that it's not for you guys. I'm really excited to go to this particular tattoo shop. It's called Han Tattoo Studio. They do amazing work and they've been really kind and generous to me. So I'm really excited. And to have a Canada tattoo, woohoo! But we should go because I'm probably gonna be late. This tattoo was one of the longest tattoos I've ever gotten at, around eight hours, but had amazing tattoo artists in Lang. And he was so kind and comforting the entire process. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a very big piece to get all in one sitting. And we didn't completely finish it, but we finished it enough. It looks good though. Because I was at my limit for pain. Feel good. I made a spontaneous eye exam appointment today because I couldn't get an eye exam near where I'm from because 
everything was booked up for like a month so i'm just like oh, i'll just do it because i'm in a big city so i'm just gonna go and get an eye exam i don't really have the time to do it or the energy i have no energy i already made the appointment so i'm just gonna do it when you soberly do a huge tattoo like that it's gonna it's gonna hurt so incredibly bad and my like it's quite swollen and it's very hard to sleep it's gonna look fantastic when it's all nice and healed octopus is ready to drive though it's just ready to go Judging by what it looked like when I was driving here, traffic is going to be bad, especially into America. I feel like it's going to be a lot harder that way than it was to get in. I don't feel like going to Niagara Falls. There's a lot of congestion. We just need to get home. And I don't want to get gas here, so my mission is to fuck them out. Is to get out of Canada without getting gas. There's people right there just drove up through the grass <laughs> to go up there. We've been in traffic for, I don't know, like an hour now. Like, this is excruciating, especially for me, because I have to have the heat on. Like I said, Yuki doesn't really overheat unless, you know, we're sitting in traffic for copious amounts of time. And I don't want to figure out if she gets in the red, so I don't let it go there. And that's why I turn the heat on when we're sitting. And also, don't do like I did and try and get out without getting gas, because now that could, that could screw me over. <laughs> waterfalls. I don't know what fall that is, but it's pretty nice. Don't even have to stop. Just sitting in traffic. What's your USA? What were you doing in Canada? Getting a tattoo? I can't. Can you turn it off? Turn the car off? Yeah, it's the engine. I can't hear you. Is getting a tattoo? Okay, how long were you in Canada for? Uh, two days. And where's home? Pennsylvania. Anybody else? Any alcohol, tobacco, THC products of any kind from across the board? Good day. Thank you. USA is rude. All right. We're in New York now. That was brutal. That was brutal. <gasps> we made it. That was a true test for Yuki. The longest I've ever sat in traffic before. Her. She did well. Now we're back in the USA. York. Getting the tattoo yesterday and having to sit there for about eight or so hours while being in pain. Today, it's helped me to be grateful that I just have to sit there without my skin being torn apart. And the, the octopus is doing well. New little addition to the fam. I'm gonna fill up my water. I don't think I will ever drive into Canada again unless I was going for a longer trip. Like if I was going there for like weeks, that's fine because then I could have the time to recover and prepare myself for sitting in traffic for hours. But 
even still, I think flying it is just easier from the route that I took anyways. I don't know what the other ports into Canada or out of Canada is like. Uh, Yuki did so good. I'm so impressed that she just sat in traffic like that and didn't like, I did have the heat on for a lot of it, but even still, like she did really well. I should get this tattoo out of the sun. Anyways, I am about a couple hours from home now and I'm just gonna drive home. Hopefully nothing crazy happens. Thank you so much for coming with me to Canada to get this badass tattoo. Next adventure, we're gonna do camping. We're gonna do nature. I need to get back out into nature and I hope that you'll join me. More adventures to come. I trust Yuki again. <laughs> Stay extraterrestrial and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.